NWA Mountain State. The flagship of the National Wrestling Alliance, bringing you great wrestling action, sanctioned by the NWA. Oh my God! All American knockout! Oh, this is going to be a judge's decision! No. Judge's decision! Hey, judge's decision! You see Ron Sexton looking on Scotty. Measures him! Deep star press! Tune in each week to see the greatest stars in independent wrestling along with your hosts, Stephen Hensley and Jacques Moliere. NWA Mountain State. town, give us a call at area code 304-673-2054 or check us out on the web. Maestro of Wrestling, you've been places that I've dreamt of going. I've locked up with you one time before and it was one of the greatest matches I've ever had in my career. So I'm looking forward to tonight. I consider you a friend. I consider you a confidant. I consider you somebody in the back that I can actually trust, that's helped me come up through the ranks, that's given me the advice that I've needed as somebody still breaking his way and still learning the ropes in this business. Because you never, ever stop learning when you're here. But take no mind, maestro. That was my title. I was screwed out of that title. Matt Connard, Scotty Rocker. I'm not sure where they're at because I'm still here and I'm still standing and I've got me some new gold. But you know what? I miss my television title. I want my television title and I'm coming after it tonight. What's the outcome going to be? Match of the night, that's an understatement. Intense, another understatement. Maestro, Iceman Scott Reigns, match number two, TV title. That's all I've got to say. Iceman Scott Reigns. The NWA Mount State Junior Heavyweight Champion, former NWA Mount State Television Champion. Now is your chance. Now is your moment of truth. Now is your time to reclaim what was once yours, the NWA Mount State Television Championship, held by me, Stro, the maestro of wrestling. Scotty, much respect to you. You're a great athlete. You're strong. You're fast. You're quick. You're athletic. You have what it takes to be the future in this business. But now the time has come. You and me. Mano y mano. Iceman and Stro. Zilla. Ooh la la. Let's do this. Iceman, bring your game. I'll bring mine. And let's fire it up, baby. Ooh la la. living color.
This match is scheduled for one ball with a 10 minute time. And it is for the NWA Monster Wrestling TV title. First, in this corner right over here, he is the NWA Monster Wrestling Junior Heavyweight Champion, introducing the Iceman, Scotty Ray! Second, his opponent, he is the yep. NWA Monster Wrestling And welcome to NWA Mountain State Wrestling right here on Fox West Virginia. I'm Dean Bibb with the outlaw rock star Stephen Hensley and the gold standard Jacques Moliere bringing you the action right here every Sunday morning. Man, what a week we had last week with Pierce versus Maestro number two. And this week should be no different there, Stephen. NWA World Heavyweight Champion Adam Pierce is going to on this very hour take on NWA Mountain State Heavyweight Champion Johnny Blast. That's going to be the main event. And that is an incredible opportunity for Johnny Blast. Absolutely. In the ring right now, though, we've got two of our champions going head to head. Junior Heavyweight Champion Scotty Reigns locking up right there in the ring with the television champion's title belt on the line, the television champion being the Maestro. The Maestro's in a situation this week where he may be a little on tilt after the heartbreaker last week. What a, and what a heartbreaker that was. It was. And I know the television time remaining didn't allow you. Whoa, great reversal now by the Strohs, sending Scotty Reigns into the ropes there. The fans are loving it. A heartbreaker it was. Stroh unable to wrest the world championship from Scrap Iron Adam Pierce in Princeton. Another collar and elbow tie up here. Scotty Reigns coming out on top of that with a side headlock. Cinching it in real tight there. Gets an Irish rip for his trouble and a shoulder tackle showing no, still no clear winner in the shoulder tackle. Oh, and an elbow. Takes Scotty Reigns down and Scotty goes to the outside. Stro pressing the advantage, showing a whole lot of aggression here in our opening match. Nice crescent kick by the Maestro. Haven't seen that for a while. Uh, knee lift to boot. Literally. Brings Scotty Reigns down to the canvas. Scotty Reigns showing some wear and tear on the chest. Irish whip here and a, whoa, back body drop into a sunset flip. It could be that close, guys. We could have had a new television champion. Boy, howdy, did Scotty Reigns explode out of nowhere with that sunset flip. That was a lot of momentum for a move that you don't typically see with that much propulsion. Absolutely. Collar and elbow tie up and both men looking for advantage against each other. Stroke coming out of it now. Stroh trying to wrap up Reigns. Reigns looking for some positioning here. Watch his feet. Drop to hold right there. Nice call. Nice call. Floats over into a front face lock, but Stroh coming out on top again. Fantastic Text counter to the armbar. Textbook wrestling, and that's what it's all about is wrestling here, guys. Coming up a little later this hour, we're going to see the Army of Darkness, Boris Dragoff and Pitbull Bob Brown with Mike Draven in their corner taking on the new NWA Mountain State Wrestling Tag Team Champions. Who will it be? If you didn't tune in last week, we're going to hold that surprise for you. Great use of the upper body here. The Maestro putting Scotty Rock and uh, Scotty Reigns black down. Wow, great chop there. The Maestro looking to tie up Reigns like a pretzel. And he's got a good first step in that game plan. He's stretching out everything across the rib cage, stretching out the arm. Look at Reigns though. He's got that arm free. He's looking for positioning. Goes behind the stroke. Double leg takedown from behind. And he's right on top of the much bigger adversary. Wow, I tell you what, Maestro went face down to the mat. I gotta give that little son of a gun credit. He's nothing if not tenacious. You better give him a lot more credit than what you've historically been given, Scotty Reigns. I really don't have to. Maestro now with the pin. One, two. Back to the lateral press. Scotty Reigns though, 
A lot of power behind that. You're not going to get a lateral press that easy. But it's a good way to make him expend a little bit more energy. Maestro putting a lot of work on the shoulders there. Scotty Reigns now may have a very numb left arm that he's going to have to work through. You know, it's with a great deal of regret that I say this, but the maestro very wise not to take Scotty Reigns lightly. One arm scoop slam, no. Whoa. One arm shoulder breaker. He's going Anderson on that left arm. And here it is. Absolutely not taking him lightly. He came in with a strategy, find an opportunity, pick a body part, tear it apart, and he is stuck to it. Anderson, 101. Oh, look at Scotty Reigns, though. He got the shoulders down, but the larger maestro able to put the junior heavyweight back down on the mat. You know, Scotty Reigns may not feel like it very much right now fighting through this match, but the amount of intensity the maestro has come at him with, the solidarity of his game plan that he's shown, that's a lot of respect for your opponent to come in with that good a game plan. They're both men trading, trading chops in the ring. Wow, there is a lot of aggression. I think both of these men want this match really, really badly. A lot of intensity, a lot of desire being displayed by these two gladiators this morning, Dean. Wow, I think they're both about to collapse from sheer. Great inverted neck breaker using his own body weight around there, Jacques Moliere. Your thoughts? My thoughts is, I think Scotty Reigns is in trouble right now, and of course the NWA Mountain State Wrestling TV champion is definitely schooling Scotty Reigns right now. Maestro going to the outside now with Reigns. What's he planning here? Nothing good, you can bet on that. Both men exchanging, exchanging chops on the outside. Man, this is a contest and a half. Oh! oh holy oh, cow! Oh, oh, he followed it up! Stroh was falling down, he kicked him right on through the middle rope following the first kick. There's your game changer. Scotty Reigns just delivered a potential game changer, and as he's going high risk. Stroh doesn't right see now. him. Oh, wow! He caught him! Stroh did see him! And he's just, going for the crossface! Oh my lord, rapid fire shots to the head, and he's got it cinched in in hell! Scotty Reigns fighting to keep himself in the game here, but he is in the dead center of the ring. Scotty Reigns is in a lot of trouble right now. I know he wants to win that TV That's title it. again, but not going to happen. Wow. of these, your champions. The junior heavyweight champion taking it to the TV champion. Scotty Reigns coming up a little bit short. Lots of pun intended there, but not for lack of trying. He gave it his all this morning. Never count out Scotty Reigns, but as Scotty Reigns just learned, never count out the stroke. Eyes in the back of his head. There's Straight. your sportsmanship. I suppose you love that one. I do. I do. I love a clean pop match. And that was a great one. And guys, it's only the beginning of the hour right here on NWA Mountain State. We've got tag team action coming up. The Mountain State Wrestling Tag Team titles are on the line. Who are your new champions? Stay tuned to this right here on Fox 11 NWA Mountain State to find out who your new NWA Mountain State Wrestling Tag Team champs are. Attention wrestling fans, we are happy to announce the debut of two new official NWA Mountain State t-shirts. Get the NWA Mountain State black tee with our new logo or the Diablo Junior Green tee with the best motto today. 25 bucks a piece or get them both for $40. Order online at nwamountainstate.com or order by phone at 304-250-0123. Supplies are limited, so order yours today. today. Yeah! Attention wrestling fans, it's Jessica Schuler here. Send us videos of you talking about your favorite NWA Mountain State wrestler or wrestlers. If we like it, we may use it in our show. 
and be sure to visit nwamountainstate.com for the latest NWA news. This is the Stro, the Meister of Wrestling. And I'm telling you, check out alliance-wrestling.com. Ooh, la la. Here at Lewis Suzuki, we have 30 days to move 200 vehicles. We're moving to our new facility and we'd rather sell them than move them. We're at our highest inventory levels ever. With over 60 new Suzuki's in stock, like the 2011 Suzuki Kasashi, named J.D. Power's highest ranked vehicle appeal among mid-sized cars. Every new Suzuki comes with America's number one warranty. Lewis Suzuki and Beckler. Sooner or later, we're going to get you in a new Suzuki. Hi, I'm Mark Muncy, one of the owners of Travelers Motor Club. I'd like to tell you about some of the services that we have for ATV riders just like yourself. Whether or not you ride ATVs, take a look at our services, see how they help you. You can join our fine club for just pennies a day. And remember, at Travelers Motor Club, we've been a trusted name since 1965, and when you need us, we'll be there to help you. Kramer Security and Investigations, an industry leader, is currently hiring for the position of security officer throughout Southern West Virginia. At Kramer, quality begins and ends with our security officers. We are proud to offer a variety of shifts, competitive wages, professional training, and a great opportunity. For information, please call 304-256-0300. That's 256-0300 or apply in person at our Market Street, Beckley, or Walker Street, Princeton locations. Kramer Security and Investigations, securing your future today. An equal opportunity employer. We have 30 days to move 200 vehicles. And at Lewis Automotive, we're moving to our new facility. And we'd rather sell them than move them. We're at our highest inventory levels ever, which includes a great selection of trucks and SUVs. That's right, just in time for hunting season, not to mention tailgating season. All with 2.9% financing and a price for every budget. Only at Lewis Automotive in Beckley. Call 1-800-TO-BECKLEY. Ricky Shane, Billy Lit, you stuck your nose in our business one too many times. Tonight, you lose those new titles that you wear around your waist. Tell them, Boris. Tonight, you will find out why I am the Soviet star, Russia's best athlete, as we take those tag titles away from you. Hush! 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 NWA Mount State, Billy Litt and Ricky Shane here, and I'm positively charged up. I'm excited that we are the brand new tag team champions, and we're going to do what we do best, and that is wrestle and be defending champs. Boris Pitbull, me and Ricky's got your numbers, boys. Tell them about it, Ricky. Billy, I can't believe it. It's only been two weeks since we won these tag team titles. And today on Mountain State Wrestling, we got to climb through the ropes against two of the biggest guys that MSW has to offer. And that's Boris Dragoff and the pit bull Bob Brown. Now, boys, you are two strangers that just fell into a tag team. You are looking at a tag team. What makes us a tag team is these right here. We're the best in MSW. We are the NWA Mountain State Wrestling Tag Team Champions. And if you want them, Come and get him. I dare you. Believe lit or not. Bar none. These two are phenomenal, and their chemistry, as you said, is unstoppable. And that's what the Army of Darkness I believe is. you're near correct on that. I hate to correct you, Dean, but I don't believe Ricky Shane's a former junior heavyweight champ. You know, you're right. Only Very Grand astute. Slam champ in the history of Mountain State Wrestling belongs to my boy, the Psycho Superman. Lord, I miss you, kid. I can't wait to see you. Carl. Carl. My goodness. Here's your lockup, the two big men in the contest. And you know who I have to blame for a lack of Carl in my life? Billy Litt, that's who I blame. I thought you had to blame the, uh, the Pinecrest Hospital. Yeah, Pinecrest Hospital. Conspiracy, conspiracy, conspiracy. Conspiracy involving Billy Litt, thank you. Speaking of conspiracy. And you can't trust him either. Conspiracy as Billy Litt takes the side headlock on the Soviet star Boris Dragoff. You have to admit, 
anytime that Mike Draven is at ringside with his men, that there is an absolute lopsided advantage that even the chemistry of our new tag team champions is going to be hard pressed to find a solution for. I would agree with that. Mike Draven's an asset. Assets give you an advantage. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You say it like it's a bad thing, Dean. No. Ta any advantage that a tag team can, can pull, legal or not, works to their advantage as Billy Litt tags in his partner, Ricky Shane, and holds drag off at center court. Big punch now by Ricky Shane. Tag team wrestling is all about beating your opponents whatever means necessary. One Air count. Fall for Shane. Excuse me, but did you just agree with me a second ago? It's a rare occasion, but yes, I did. I guess you can teach a stupid person something. Yeah, you said something that was correct for a change. Hey. I take offense to that. Drag off letting, letting Ricky Shane go as he tags in Bob Brown. And Ricky Shane capitalizes with the hip toss. Arm ringer now. And tagging in his partner, Billy Lynn, who's climbing to the top. Climbing to the top. And coming down with a double axe handle. Fantastic double teaming by the tag champs. Shane and Litt are on top of things. Using a lot of textbook wrestling and using it real well. But Billy Litt needs to remember he's in the ring right now with a madman. Sometimes traditional wrestling doesn't work so well in a madman. We want to remind everybody the next, next week, next month actually, the month of December, all month long is our annual Jingle Bell Bash Tour. 2011, the hottest matches as the season warms up for the holidays. Billy Litt signaling for the monkey flip and the pit no bull. Way, Bob. Oh, no, 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 no. You know why that worked? You know why that worked? Billy Litt said, stay. He should have done it just now. The match could have been over. He's not Billy Litt's dog. He doesn't have to listen to Litt. Ricky Shane coming in. Double Irish whip on the big man and a double back elbow. And the fans are electric here in this matchup. Signs around the building shouting out the disdain for the Army of Darkness. And the fans are absolutely in the corner of their new tag team champions. Shane holding on to a side headlock. And he's very wise not to let Bob Brown find an opening. But Bob shoving him off the ropes may get it. Smaller body, more mass. Ricky Shane took him down. Uh-oh. Bob Brown went for a hip toss. Dag Nabbit. And Ricky Shane now following through with a beautiful steamboat arm drag. Billy Litt is equal parts tag team partner and cheerleader. He wants the fans behind him, and he's got them. Bob Brown now prone on the mat, and Boris Dragoff helpless to, as to just watch and observe. And Mike Draven right now is not a happy camper on the outside. Dean, I'm going to hate to contradict you here, but Boris Dragoff may be watching from the outside, but he's anything but helpless. When he wants to go in that ring, I'd be hard pressed to believe that referee could stop him. Big chop now by the pit bull, and is he biting? Looked like he was biting, and now Ricky Shane, where he does not want to be. What dog doesn't bite on a chew toy? Right now, all Ricky Shane is to Pitbull Bob Brown is a chew toy. Ricky Shane's been beating on him for a while, and Bob Brown, like a cornered animal, came alive when he found his moment. And he's going to chew Ricky Shane up, and he's going to tear him apart. Bob Brown, a big man. 15 minutes remaining. Bob Brown, a big man holding Ricky Shane prone in the corner to tag in the Soviet star who's laying in big chops. Oh, oh, firing back now. Ricky Shane fought his way out of the corner but still gets Irish whipped and a back elbow. And boy, did Ricky Shane eat that one. Now Literally, Boris, I think it may have knocked a tooth out. Boris Dragoff getting Billy Lynn involved. And now, here's where the, two, the double team begins. And this is great psychology by Dragoff. I love it. Look at Lit. He's so incensed. He's so angry. He's not paying any attention to what he's costing his partner right now. He put his partner on the receiving end of a triple team because Mike Draven got involved. Another scoop slam by the big Russian. And big Buddy Landell 
corkscrew elbow, Ricky Shane's. And that kick isn't gonna help Ricky Shane get the cobwebs out of his head any sooner. Ricky Shane fighting back now on pure adrenaline. Ricky Shane fighting for all he's worth right now. Dragoff's putting out a lot of groundwork work though on softening him up. Shoots Ricky Shane to the corner and a big splash. Oh, and he almost beheaded him there. Nice Russian sickle by the Soviet star. Boris Dragoff hooks the leg. Boris Dragoff told me in his broken English last week in prison as the double team goes on. Oh, come on. Boris Dragoff wants to be the first ever Russian NWA World Heavyweight Champion. And it could happen. He's big, he's powerful, he's got the smarts, he's got the skills. It's more than plausible. He's a very intelligent wrestler. He's a very patient wrestler. And you know, we were talking earlier in the match about the great teamwork of Billy Lynn and Ricky Shane. Let's not make light of how far Dragoff and Pitbull Bob Brown have come. And by hook or by crook, Ricky Shane firing back in the middle of the ring. Oh, and takes a big boot to the face, courtesy of Boris Dragoff. Billy Lit frustrated on the outside of the ring. He was hoping the tide was going to change right there. Dragoff going back for another cover. Almost got it there. And look at the concern on the face of Billy Lit. Well, he just became tag team champion. He doesn't want to lose it this quickly. He'll do anything he can to help out his partner and friend, Billy Lit. I mean, Ricky Shane. Ricky Shane taking a double elbow now. Billy Lit's reactions in this match are telling the tale of how successful the Army of Darkness' strategy has been. And they have isolated Shane, and they are doing a wonderful job continuing to punish him, continuing to soften him up. And let's give credit where credit's due. The Army of Darkness have ran over anybody. Whoa! Ricky Shane gets the knees up, and Pitbull Bob Brown goes to the corner. The Army of Darkness have an opportunity Long to corner, punch Ricky. Him. And look at Bob waiting like a good dog. And there's the opening. Lateral press, new tag champs. Not to be. Well, that's a travesty. Jacques Moliere, what's Ricky Shane got to do? Well, I'll tell you right now, if these guys don't pick up their game right now, we're going to have two new NWA Mountain State Wrestling Heavyweight Champions. Sunset flip by Shane. Two count only. Bob Brown right back up. And Ricky Shane still on the wrong half of that ring. Can he? He's a high tell it. Can he get away from Bob Brown and make the tag? Not if Bob has his way. He puts a shot in. He staggered. He's in the wrong corner. And there's your tag. Here he comes got it. Billy Lip fresh, throwing in clotheslines in the center of the ring. Back elbow now. And he's going to key in on Bob Brown. He's going to send him across the ring. Bob Brown reverses. Billy Lip springboard back elbow. Boris Dragoff putting the boots to him. Well, Billy Lip came in there with a whole heck of a lot of steam. But and you see how quick that got snuffed out. And Mike Draven laying in blows on the outside of the ring now. Bob Brown's on the outside too. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You said earlier in the match yourself, any advantage is a good advantage at a tag match. And you see Boris Dragoff not letting up on Ricky Shane in the ring. Good strategy by the Army of Darkness. Oh no! Bob no. Brown pin, uh, trips his own partner. Can Ricky Shane capitalize? Alabama roll! No, Alabama come roll! On, up. No! Alabama beats Kentucky any day. They had to work for it in their first title defense. They had to they had to prove that they could hang and the army of darkness took them to the limit. Hitting West Virginia December 3rd. Guess what? Strozilla's coming back in town. NWA Mountain State style. We're going to do it like we always do it in West Virginia. So bring the people out of the dam. Let's have a great time. I'll bring your family. Bring
very few people roaming planet Earth have physical evidence that proves that they are the best in the world at what they do. And Adam Pierce, you're one of those individuals. You can stand up and you can say, I am the best in the world and no one, no one will dispute it because you have evidence to back it up. All Mountain State wrestling fans know that I've been this, in this business for a long time and I've held many state and regional titles, but in over 20 years, this is the first time I've ever had a shot at a world title. A wise man once said that the key to success in life is for a man to be ready when his opportunity comes. Adam Pierce, you are opportunity, and I am ready. Johnny Blass, let me see if I understand where you're coming from. You see your buddy, the maestro of wrestling, being beaten down by three superior athletes, and you take it upon yourself to play hero. Well, I admire that, Johnny Blast. I admire the stupidity of it. You weren't even on my radar until that moment, but now I understand unequivocally that a target needs to be placed upon you, and trust me, it has been. My colleagues, my brothers at arms, are fully aware of your presence, your intimation that you evidently want a piece of this. Well, consider your wish granted, Johnny Blast, because the heavyweight champion of the world backs down from no one. I don't care if you've got an Uzi, a machete, nunchucks. It matters not to me. You're a veteran of the sport. I can respect that. But what I don't respect is people sticking their nose in my business. Johnny Blast, it is going to be a pleasure, maybe even an honor, to blast you. You need a dose of reality, Johnny Blast. Maybe a 10-pound dose.
for NWA Mountain State Wrestling trainee learning his skill at the legendary Boogie's Wrestling Camp WWE Hall of Famer Jimmy Boogie Woogie Valiant handsome Jimmy Valiant has trained Mike Mayhem and now Mike Mayhem gets his opportunity to referee an NWA World Heavyweight Championship match fantastic whoop you do don't care forgot his name already the guy who really has the hot opportunity this morning is Johnny Blass, the NWA Mountain State Wrestling Champion, representing all of West Virginia as he goes one-on-one -on -one with the NWA's finest, the world champion, Scrap Iron, Adam Pierce. Arguably the greatest competitor in the modern age of professional wrestling, Scrap Iron, Adam Pierce. Four times, four times NWA World Heavyweight Champion. I'm not even sure which one of us he's talking to, but for the sake of myself and Jacques, I'm going to hope it's you, Dean. been the most profitable that he's seen. Adam Pierce not in friendly territory at all. He's been taking the best shots from the Mountain State Wrestling fans hey, for the Johnny, last couple weeks, and that's not an easy task for anyone. He looks like he's fed up. Did you see Johnny Blast, though? Johnny Blast said, Mike Mayhem, go get him. I have a, a World Heavyweight Championship match. I don't think Adam Pierce is too concerned with Johnny Blast's shot. Well, well, that's kind of arrogant. Johnny Blast, his name is now on know. the ledger lists. Right up there with the likes of Colt Cabana, Brian Danielson, as people who have contested Adam Pierce for the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. And it is a privilege to call this match our heavyweight champion. And what an opportunity for Johnny Blast. You know, this is an opportunity that eclipses some wrestlers for their entire career. Johnny Blast, he's not a guy that you typically see getting an opportunity like this. But you know what, having said that, he's not a guy that's gonna shy away oh. when opportunity's knocking. He's gonna open that door, he's gonna knock opportunity out, and he's gonna try to steal the win by any means. He will kick the door down. Johnny Blast is nothing if not tenacious, 
pugnacious and determined. And not necessarily in that order. Johnny Blast has been an incredible Mountain State Heavyweight Champion as these two lock up in what's going to be a huge, huge battle. Television time remaining right here this Sunday morning on Fox West Virginia on NWA Mountain State Wrestling. Who in West Virginia can bring you this matchup other than NWA Mountain State? I thought we were going to see the clean break. I was mistaken, but Johnny Blast, Pierce may like to play dirty, but Johnny Blast may have written the book. Johnny Blast ducked the shot and gave one of his own. And the world's champion is on the floor. And you know, he looks really calm, but for the faintest of moments when he went tumbling to the outside, I saw it, Dean. Concern. Concern. Johnny Blast can beat anyone. Oh, now we got a very cocky oh yeah from the world champion. You know, Johnny Blast said it himself before. I heard him say it a long time ago. He's not the best looking wrestler. He's not the best wrestling wrestler. But one thing that son of a gun is, is so stubborn it's ridiculous. <laughs> uh, you yes. can tell him he doesn't stand a chance. That's not going to stop him from ignoring you and showing you that he did all along. And Johnny Blast is the master of changing up. Nice win of a one-handed test of strength. And he's sending the world champion's head into the corner. Body shots now. Irish whip across to the corner. Sets him in. And the high back body drop. And these fans are coming alive for Johnny Blast. Jacques, Johnny Blast working the champion. Yes, Johnny Blast, the NWA Mountain State Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. That's what I'm talking about right there. All right, he's got to make the break. The champion once again outside the ring. And remember, Blast has to beat Pierce. Pierce doesn't have to beat Blast. Pierce just has to survive the contest. And he walks away with Sweet Charlotte, the legendary 10 pounds of gold that only the NWA World Heavyweight Champion is allowed to wear. You know, Dean, a lot of times I make a lot of brash comments, and this is not one of those. Johnny Blast is the definitive underdog in this contest. I, I don't think anybody's overlooking that fact at all, and Johnny Blast definitely isn't overlooking that fact. But man, if there's one thing that Johnny Blast has never had a problem with, it's being the underdog. He's got so much heart, so much desire. It's not going to stop him at all. He's not shaken for a moment about being an underdog. It's what he's been his entire career. People like to look past guys like Johnny Blast, just like they like to look past places like West Virginia, just like they'd like to look past promotions like Mountain State Wrestling. We've made our peace with that. We're going to look for our way to come out on top. And today there's not a finer representation of us than Johnny Blast. Absolutely. And the heart of West Virginia goes with Johnny Blast right now as he puts the World Heavyweight Champion on the mat and tries to numb that arm up. Something fierce. Guys, this is television time remaining and this is for the NWA World Heavyweight Championship right here from Hinton, West Virginia on NWA Mountain State Wrestling, Fox West Virginia. Guys, www nwamountainstate.com guys check out www.alliance-wrestling.com and don't forget nwawrestling.com the official home of the National Wrestling Alliance on the web John, Johnny Black go ahead go Johnny ahead. Blast is telling everyone what he's going for he's taking apart the arm of Scrap Iron Adam Pierce guys Scrap Iron Adam Pierce has gone to the time limit, 45 minutes with the maestro. Scrap Iron Adam Pierce was lost by disqualification to the maestro last week on NWA Mountain State Wrestling. And this week, is that match going to play into effect here as he has to defend against our heavyweight champion, Johnny Blast? Well, Adam Pierce definitely had a tough time last week, but let's not look over. Let's not look over for a second what Johnny Blast had to endure last week, which was a very firm challenger and a very fired up, very focused Ricky Shane. Absolutely. A hard fought conscious. This matchup, I'm gonna say I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that this is anybody's match. Because Johnny Blast, the determination, the cunning of Johnny Blast against perhaps a road weary by this point world heavyweight champion who can make one mistake and open up the door for Johnny Blast 
to come out of it as world champion with a schoolboy. I believe the word that best describes him is wily. That guy is a wily, cagey little rat in the corner waiting for an opportunity. And for once, I'm very excited about it. Scrap Iron Adam Pierce has been all over the world defending the world championship of the National Wrestling Alliance. Japan, he's been in Europe, Mexico. Guys, now he has come to the flagship of the National Wrestling Alliance NWA Mountain State. He has had an extended tenure here. Yeah, rope break now. And Johnny Blast, there's the cunning. Johnny Blast didn't break immediately. He milked that count a little bit. I think it's safe to say, Dean, that Adam Pierce is very out of his element in West Virginia and more than out of his element competing against a man like Johnny Blast. That's not the guy he typically goes up against. He goes up against polished wrestlers. Ain't nothing polished about Blast. And That's now, his X factor. That's what's going to make him effective as a challenger. And now, now that he's put a thumb in the eye of his challenger, he struts the stuff and starts to work his advantage here. Blast now a little bit winded after that last shot and having trouble finding his base. And you see right now the patience of Adam Pierce paying off. He's used to being in trouble in matches, but whoa, he might find himself right back in trouble again. Blast firing back for all he's worth. And he's gonna send Pierce off the ropes. Pierce flying back at him. Spinning neck breaker now. And patience perseveres. Look for the opportunity. It's gonna happen, Pierce knows it. Well, two count. Wow, he's making sure that Mike, this might be a good opportunity for Mike Mayhem to inform the world champion that he's from Virginia, not West Virginia. And Adam Pierce blowing kisses out at the fans. The fans don't look too appreciative though. Can't say I blame him. Johnny Blast now back up to his base. He's had a, maybe a little bit of respite. Whoa, laces across the eye now. That's a, that's a disdainful move if ever there was one. And a choke, a blatant choke. The world heavyweight champion stretching every rule almost to the breaking point. But not to the breaking point. And even if he did, it's only a DQ to him. He's not worried about. The ref can count to five. That's going to tickle him just fine. He'll walk out the door with the world title. He'll walk out the door making the same money he was going to make anyway. Johnny Blast firing back into the med section. Another shot. Another shot. Oh. Sp All right. High knee lift and the champion goes down. And here's the cover by the Mountain State Wrestling Champion. And we got a leg on the ropes. Mike Mayhem almost didn't see it. Now you made the call. DQ is not going to cost him the championship. NWA Alliance rules. The champion can't, championships cannot change hands on a disqualification unless it's sanctioned by the board and written into the contract. Both men firing shots now. Iron Pierce looking determined. Adam Pierce throwing a, a clothesline. It's ducked. He's got him in position. Is he going to get? No. I thought he was saying up for the blast. He kept. Oh, oh. oh, low shot now. Johnny Blast feeling the pain here. Iron Scrap Iron Adam Pierce going for the power driver. Feeling the pain. Here comes the thunder. Oh no! A power driver on the on the Mountain State Wrestling Champion. And it's guys, over. that's it. Done. There ain't no getting up from that one, Dean. Guys, you're hard pressed to find a match that can end as definitively as a pile driver. And Adam Scrap Iron Adam Pierce using the pile driver to walk out with Sweet Charlotte in his arms once again. He wants a microphone. Yeah, I suggest you give him one. Yes. Somebody get that man a microphone. An angry Adam Pierce is not a friend to anyone. It's not a friend to begin with, but man, is he dangerous. Did you really think this man had a chance in hell to become a world champion? I don't think so. I'm going to tell you what. By so, we're going to finish what we started last week. 
Come on, boys, let's finish what we started. Whoa. Okay, we're... All right, and you see the ranks joining Adam Pierce, the hey, Canadian no, no, no. Lion, drag off. Whoa, and Draven just shoved the ref down. I heard him hit hard and hell. And look at them unloading on Johnny Ring that bell, we need some heat out here. Ring the bell, ring the bell. That bell ring is a day late and a dollar short. Ain't nobody out here to help no one right now. Adam Pierce and his cohorts are just having their way. Johnny Blast being held firm. And here comes the cavalry. We got Louisville Eugene and the Maestro. We got Scotty Reigns hitting the ring. But not before Adam Pierce and his friends did their best to crack open the skull of Johnny Blast. I'm not entirely sure that that bell shot didn't. Johnny Blast ain't moving too well right now, Dean. I can't tell if he's laid open or not. Don't forget the pile driver. The world's here, baby! Lance Harris is pointing out who's got the title. The world's champion. Right here, this is Holy professional cow. wrestling. You ain't the world champion. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I'm sick of it. I'm sick of that double A. I'm sick of trap. You want to trap all people? You want to jump on my friends? You want to jump on these great people out right here? Well, how about tonight? We all jump on you. Whoa! I think. You may be world heavyweight champion. You may have that case. You may be a bad Russian, but what you think you did this for? What's on the glass? Virginia. Are we going to see it right here, right now? The Wolves are circling the ring. Erickson gets in there. Boris Dragoff's getting a little bit of Johnny Blast on the outside. But look at Pierce. Pierce isn't even touching this one. I'm getting that mic out of the ring now. So much for Hollywood loyalty. I don't know. I'll tell you who they think they are, Mike Draven. They think they're fed up. They're tired of people interrupting matches. They're tired of getting their opportunities ruined by a bunch of two on three, bunch of three on ones, and that's who they think they are. They're fed up. Stroh's fed up. Johnny Blast is fed up. Louisville Eugene is fed up. And the line in the sand has been drawn. We know which side everybody's on, and man, is this one going to explode next week. Guys, this has been an action-packed hour, people. So next week, we've got a big six-man tag team event with Johnny Blast, Maestro, and Louisville Eugene, Nick Dinsmore, taking on the Army of Darkness, Boris Dragoff, the Canadian Lion Lance Erickson, and your NWA world champion, Adam Pierce, who's probably looking forward to getting out of West Virginia by this point. Join us again. This is Dean Bibb 
for the outlaw rock star. And for Jacques Moliere. Guys, tune in next week to NWA Mountain State Wrestling right here on Fox West Virginia. Lewis Nissan, we have 30 days to move 200 vehicles. Plus, we're opening our new facility, so we'd rather sell them than move them. We're on our highest inventory levels ever, with over 50 roads in stock and more arriving daily. Discounts as high as $10,000 or rates as low as 0%. Only at Lewis Nissan in Beckley and only for the next 30 days. Call 1-800-TO-BECKLEY or visit us online at lewisnissan.com. For the past 16 years, Mark Hunt has helped hundreds of people who were injured in a car wreck. Mark Hunt and Associates help people put their lives back together after a car wreck. We get cars repaired, medical bills and lost wages paid, and get you the compensation deserved. Call Mark Hunt and Associates. We have the experience to help you when you can't help yourself. Mark Hunt and Associates, 304-344-1800 or on the web at www.markahunt.com. Kramer Security and Investigations, an industry leader, is currently hiring for the position of security officer throughout Southern West Virginia. At Kramer, quality begins and ends with our security officers. We are proud to offer a variety of shifts, competitive wages, professional training, and a great opportunity. For information, please call 304-256-0300. That's 256-0300 or apply in person at our Market Street, Beckley, or Walker Street, Princeton locations. Kramer Security and Investigations, security... NWA Mountain State is paid in part by Lewis Automotive in Beckley and LewisAutomotive.com, giving you the best deals on Suzuki, Nissan, and pre-owned cars. Kramer Security and Investigations, now hiring in all of Southern West Virginia at KramerSecurity.net. Mark A. Hunt and Associates, practicing law since 1994 and online at MarkAHunt.com. The West Virginia Tobacco Quit Line. Get help to quit smoking now at WestVirginiaQuitline.com. NWA Mountain State is a production of Cucumber and Company. Cucumber and Company, video, web, and beyond.